The Department of Energy's Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory is named for famed Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. It's fitting, then, that another famous Italian recently paid a visit to the lab. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, Italy's current head of state, toured the site and learned about Italy's ongoing collaboration with Fermilab. Well, I'm very happy to see how things are developing. But it is a coordination. Most of the thing is an international cooperation. So, I mean, obviously, uh, we are part of a cooperation like anybody else. I think it's a nice thing that Fermilab is continuing very successfully. Renzi's visit comes as the lab is hard at work on its flagship project, DUNE, a neutrino experiment built on Italian detector technology. You know, when you look at uh, Icarus, which is now the biggest detector, it looks big mm -hmm. because it's uh, uh, 20 meter long. But when you think that each one of the cryostats of DUNE will be almost as big as this building, mm -hmm. and you have four of them, then you're thinking about another scale. Scientists from Italy work on experiments investigating a variety of particles, but there is a particular focus on the elusive neutrino, the most abundant matter particle in the universe. Strong international partnerships, like the one Fermilab has with the Italian physics organization INFN, are essential for untangling such physics mysteries. For us, uh, uh, it is crucial uh, that obviously particle physics uh, keeps uh, going on uh, and remains at the top level uh, in the U.S. Uh, so we are strongly supporting, uh, as I said, the project uh, related to neutrinos, both for the short and the longest line uh, projects. Uh, and uh, we think about uh, Working together, we can really have uh, a mutual benefit uh, both, uh, both institutions. Italy is also a major contributor to the hardware and technologies used in particle physics experiments. For us today, it was really reason of great pride and great joy to have the Prime Minister here. And bringing him here to the technical campus was exactly to show him how important the collaboration between Italian industry and uh, INFN and Fermilab has been in the development of the superconducting RF technology and in general the technologies which are at the, at the heart of particle accelerators. So. Members of the scientific community were excited that the Prime Minister paid a visit to the lab. Prime Minister was very interested in what we do at Fermilab. Renzi addressed the Italian community and he said that he's, uh, for him it's very important to have Italian physicist working in the, in the Fermilab laboratory in such a great program with a great future. I think the visit of a Prime Minister is really significant, especially at national lab like Fermilab. And for us it's really a source of pride to know that our Prime Minister is so interested and engaged in uh, uh, fundamental research. So now what you see here is, is something that is the end, is the process of, uh, of growing together. Uh, in, in a global way. I think it was a great event because in my 20 years at the lab I personally cannot recall of any other visit of this importance from Italy. The Prime Minister's visit celebrates the strong relationship forged between Italian scientists and Fermilab, a partnership that extends well into the future. There's a special relationship between Italy and the United States, in particular between science that's taking place in Europe at CERN, at Grand Sasso, and also at Fermilab. And the Prime Minister emphasized that over and over again, that he wants to develop these bonds with Italian citizens over here. He wants them to stay here and represent Italy around, you know, that's their uh, symbol of uh, excellence in science, the people that are here. And so he's very happy with our, our, our program here. And he says he could feel the passion for our science here and talking to people at Fermilab.